forever. Dog. But there was a moment where I felt like I couldn't look at her because I was like so flustered. Ashley, you are our guest question this episode. Oh my god, not Ashley asking a question about flirting. Shut Wait, this is crazy. Ashley asking Shut the question that she would crazy. scream at us for picking. <laughs> Just talk to her. Just talk no. to her. Yeah, dude, just come on. Just talk come to on. her. Just say it. She is flirting with you, bro. Do you Hi everybody. Do you guys want to do you want to see the dresses? I kind of want to whip them out and see what's going on. We ordered the invitations, so once they get here then we'll pack them and ship them out, but put it in your calendar so that you can come, please. This, this is crazy. Okay. In Vancouver. Yeah. It's a little town on the coast. You have to take a ferry. Okay. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> have you ever taken a ferry before, Mac? Dude. I want to go to Catalina Island so bad, but I'm afraid of the ferry, but like, I just have Mac, to Mac, do it. At a certain point. Where okay? is Catalina Island? You just need to understand that other people are doing this and they're fine. I know. I just have to fucking, I got to get on this fucking ferry. Where is Catalina yeah. Island? Where is that? It's it's right off the coast of LA. It's the oh, great so white oh, capital goats. of the world. There's tons of great white sharks around it. Oh, you should so go. We went, yeah. I know. It's like this cute little town that looks like Greece. Oh, well that's okay. what it sounded like and I was like, "Wait, you want Actually, what just like, happened? Come to Vancouver. Never mind." Don't worry about it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Gulp. Don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah. Just actively choking. I brought this banana over, but I can't eat it. Just break it off into pieces. Eat it that way. Eat it. Who gives a shit? No, she can no. mute her microphone thing. Her head. It's too stressful. <laughs> Mac, you can't live your life like this. Afraid of boats. <laughs> afraid of Elena. Eat, eat the banana. <laughs> You're afraid of me? Like I'm. We know. No. I'm just a little duck. I'm a duck. Little what can a duck do? On this episode, I pull back. Welcome to the Chosen Family Podcast. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Oh, hello! Everyone. Let's get the smooth, the smooth voice, the pu the pulled back voice of Ashley. Now I'm self conscious. <gasps> uh, wait, I have an update. Oh, oh my god, what? Okay, I'm afraid to talk about this. Oh, wait, fin wait, finish the intro. We have to finish okay, the so? intro. T uh, I'm Elena Joy. I'm your mom. Welcome to the Chosen Family Podcast. Every week we sit down around the family dinner table. We talk about gay stuff because we're the gay family that you never had. Uh, once again, I'm Elena Joy. I'm your mom. I'm Ashley Gavin, and I'm your dad. I'm Mac and Jimmy. I'm your hot teenage brother. No, she's itty bitty baby boo. Okay, Ashley, the thing you're scared to talk about. An update. Okay, I might bleep this name, but um, I bleep it because then we can say whatever we want. I interviewed Anna Akana on my podcast last night. Oh. Okay, so I, you know, I like uh, I, I like her stuff online. My sister's like a big fan. I noticed mm -hmm. she was doing the fringe and the time slot before me in the same venue. And I was like, kismet. I've been wanting to have her on the pod forever. So mm -hmm. I, when I saw that was happening, she had followed Maddie a little while back. But I like, for some reason, I was like, nah, don't worry about it. I just feel like our paths will cross eventually, mm -hmm. like instead of reaching out. And then they did. And I played it like super cool because I don't think I give this impression on the Internet but I play it pretty cool in real life. A lot of times girls are like, oh, I didn't even know you were interested. Okay. I don't Dude. know if it's because it's not on purpose. I, I don't know if I'm like dead inside from the amount of sex that I've had that I just like don't or because I'm with Jen or something and I so I don't have nerves. It's so weird. I never got that. What? I, I knew you were interested from jump. Oh, fair yeah no i like totally get that actually because like after i had sex with like 40 people like after i hit that number it was like yeah. just everything after that was kind of like it all blurs routine together. it's like all the same thing over my and number over is again. not like, that high <laughs> <laughs> don't shame mac don't yeah, shame dude, mac really for, her shame 40, for her 40 and beyond i'm just saying my number is not as high as people think. Listener, write in. What do you think my number is? Hilarious, amazing, love it. What do you guys think my number is? What do you think my number is? 
Didn't we literally talk about this? It's We have talked about this, but you didn't give us Isn't a it like low 30s? I thought it was like 34. I will not reveal. 34 is my lucky number. Oh. I wonder why. I'm going to go 20s. High 20s. That's my would be my guess. High 20s. Dude, I think you play it cool, but I wouldn't confuse playing it cool with not seeming sweet. Like, I think you play it cool, but you're also really sweet. Yeah, but she's Thank saying you. people don't know that she's interested in them. Like, they're expecting her to be kind of full on hitting on them. What do they think? <laughs> like, yeah, exactly. what do they they're looking for that? <laughs> That's ridiculous. I because have to say. I think I come off as like <laughs> on the Internet. I think people bleep. think that I'm like <laughs> come off as bleep. <laughs> I think, and I think they bleep. meet me in real life and they're like, oh, there is a brain under your backwards hat. I did not think that that was going to happen. Mm -hmm. um, That's kind of uh, crazy. I, I really think people think I'm so my character. Yeah. Um, but, and even my character isn't even, no. I don't know. No. Um, okay, but so. No, it's not because you meet make her, fun of. I, I okay. meet her and um, we... I wouldn't say we hit it off right away. Like I, we were, but, but we don't see, we see each other at a really weird moment where I'm getting hyped up for my show and she's coming down from her show. So yeah. like, it's like, we're both like very in business. Like, we, yeah. Yeah. So I interviewed her on my podcast and then I was like, is she flirting with me right now? For on sure. Pod? The, on pod? On pod. For sure. Whoa. She has flirty vibes. Whoa. Well, I recognize her. I looked her up. I recognize her. She's very pretty. But yeah. 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 I think I've seen some of her stuff pop up, but I don't know her that well. She's like old school YouTube. Like. Yeah. Oh. OG. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And. Okay. Um, Did not know that. Yeah. And now I'm like. Uh, and on camera, I was like. Well, and she said something like, oh, but you have a girlfriend. And I was like, oh, is this open? And <laughs> I, can't, I, can't, I can't even. I can't. Hold on. Wait, Ashley, you're hold on. I can't I remember the context of it. she might have maybe been flirting with me. I'm not sure. But at some point she made the comment, but you have a girlfriend. I, can't, I don't want to. Don't quote me on that because I, I can't. I, the yeah. whole time I was like, because I definitely had a moment of like, look at the ground, be like, what is shit happening? Like I, because I was not prepared for it. Mentally. Dude, yeah. on pod is kind of crazy. Well, I love can't my wait podcast. for the episode. There was an era on my other podcast where I flirted with every femme that came onto the show. I can't remember when that started or stopped. Like we had Chrissy Chapeka on. That was pretty fun. I was but gonna I say it's I feel different like, if I feel you like it flirt, stopped though. after the the therapist. I don't know how to explain oh, her without. Everyone knows. Wow. She hurt you, dude. You think so? Oh, yeah. Wait, Elena, you were listen You listened to the podcast. Mm -hmm. Did you listen during that era? And now you can't stand it. You're like, fuck, Ashley. I have to deal with her every fucking week. I'm not going <laughs> to listen to another <laughs> fucking episode of this. No. Meeting her um, in real life ruined it for me. That was the era when we were just starting this show. You right? think so? Yeah, because I think we talked about it here. Okay. And, like whether it was personally or on pod, I can't remember. But well, this was where we we had talked about this, and I f and I feel like the vibe between you and flirting with guests changed since that era. Huh. Okay. I also wonder, like, I just you know, having a girlfriend makes it super different. I think people, mm -hmm. even if they know it's open, like they don't. Oh, true. Know yeah. the rules. Mm -hmm. mm. so um yeah certainly they don't initiate and if they mm -hmm. don't initiate i'm professional yeah so like yeah. i i yeah so this started happening and i was like is she flirting with me and then at the end like it was one of those endings where it's like was lingering like no one was really leaving but yeah. i was not flirting with her i was really like very but so was she and then i was like what is happening here? And then I was like, oh, do you want to grab coffee or something? What is I, the I just third kind of, host doing? There's no third host. This, oh, okay. Oh, like, it was Jesus. just a two. I, I that was a great question. To get there, like, I flew Maddie in to get cucked. I flew Maddie in to get cucked in Scotland. <laughs> oh okay, God. so did you go for coffee? 
no, not yet. And now I don't like, now I don't know what to do. Now I'm no, like, dude, well, what, go, do what, do yeah, what do you want to do? Yeah, what do you want to do? I don't know. I don't have a wax and I pulled my rib muscle. So like I, I, <laughs> I feel, <laughs> I don't dude. feel like totally on top of my, I also haven't had like a solid poop in a while. And okay. like all of these things together, I'm like not feeling like super sexy, you know? Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. You can do this. You're strong <laughs> enough for this. <laughs> Dude, that's not Mac. <laughs> you I'm can Mac do this. I'm being frustrated with you. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. I think I'm taking off card because it wasn't my idea. Like, yeah. I. I did. I don't know why I didn't see her this way, but like I just, I don't mm -hmm. know. I like respected her work. I like was a fan, mm -hmm. yeah. so I like didn't. Well, and she doesn't give like she no, doesn't she's give not, explicitly kind of she's queer, not, yeah. flirty vibes in her content. You know, queer doesn't matter to me, Elena. No, no, I know, but like the 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 vibe in her content <laughs> is not flirty yeah. it's not the body there count isn't goes up every time suggestion <laughs> you wouldn't think based on her her work which is like well, which is art she told me she was bisexual like yeah almost as soon as i met her yeah <laughs> and i oh, so you didn't know that you didn't know that when you invited her on the podcast no oh this one was like, by the way, the name of my podcast is We're Having Gay Sex. And she was like, I know, I'm bi. And I was like, oh, okay. Oh, okay. This is adding up. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, in what way? Do you well, think she's into she... me? Yeah. You weren't Dude. there, so I'm biased. No, I, but I like, wasn't there. That's true. But, but like... what I was blown away by was that she was treating me like I was the big YouTuber. And I was like, I'm not the big YouTuber. You're the big YouTuber. But you're pretty big. You're a pretty big YouTuber. You're kind of a big YouTuber. You're kind of a big YouTuber. I don't know. Content creator. You're a big content creator. That's for sure. And I'm so a she. medium comedian. No. no. So Actually, I just like. Comedian finds out they're kind of that's, famous. That's your bubble. That's your bubble that makes you think you're a medium comedian. Okay. Outside of your bubble, you're a big deal. In the gay world, I guess. But like Ashley, shut up. <laughs> so I. <laughs> Thanks for laughing at that. Your face. Can we get a replay with a zoom just on the bro, shut up face? Bro, <laughs> we cannot do a replay with a zoom. No, please, Elena, we please. cannot do it that. Was like, it was like the emotion started on the left side and like I know my left across. side is there was than a my wave. Right side. Isn't that crazy? No. There was a wave across. Like horizontally. <laughs> wow. Wow. That was amazing to witness. <laughs> <laughs> Should I try and hook up with her? If you want to, do you want now to? Now I feel like it would be such a missed opportunity not to. Well, <laughs> I wouldn't think about it like that. <laughs> no, I would. Thank think about man. it like that. Seriously. People Why would are you not? Objects, Elena. All women are sort of conquests to be won. <laughs> well, now I have to shift the bot. Okay. okay. And now of the I show or of your interaction with? I change the show. <laughs> this is me asking Anna Akana if she wants to sleep with me. The show. <laughs> um, no, now I have to like find a way to flirt with her after being 100% professional. No, you don't, dude. You just have to be near her. She'll flirt with you. Yeah, let I her start know, the flirting and then flirt back. Well, Dude. then where didn't she? Where are you getting the vibe from? Like, if she said, "But you have a girlfriend," like, what was that following? Don't you have a girl? I don't remember. You, you want me to play the tape for you? I'll play the fucking tape oh my God, for I you. I would love to see the tape. I would love. Yeah, I'll be watching this episode. We'll see. But we'll I see definitely, it. I definitely had the, is this flirting question in my mind, which usually is, means there's been flirting. Yeah. Dude, I swear, if we turn on this episode and it's, like, so clearly flirting. No, yeah. it's not. It's not. No, she would, pick sure? up, she would pick up on, on clearly flirting, I think. Maybe you just respected her too much that you were just so far away from that in your mind that you didn't even yeah. think of it. Yeah. I was far away from it, going into mm -hmm. it. Well, if you didn't even know that she was by when you invited her, I like... felt like I couldn't look at her because I was like, 
so flustered. That's crazy. I could never be a singular podcast host with guests. Absolutely not. You could just try my version where I'm just talking to like academics. I think that and flirting with them. I think that (laughs) I think that when we go to coffee or dinner or whatever, I think I'm just going to say, hey, Mm -hmm. uh, I don't Mm want to overstep. But were you actually flirting with me on my podcast? Why not? Ashley, you are our guest question this episode. Oh my god, not Ashley asking a question about flirting. Shut Wait, this is crazy. Ashley asking Shut the question that she would crazy. scream at us for picking. <laughs> <laughs> just talk to her. Just talk oh, to her. Yeah, dude, just come on. Just talk come to her. On. Just say it. She is flirting with you, bro. No, but it's different because this is a work environment. This is a podcast. I invited her to be there. Yeah. But then yeah. did she ask for coffee? You asked for coffee. There was lingering and then Bro, you asked for coffee. I don't coffee. remember. I think I asked. Well, has, have you been in contact since? Has there been messaging? No. I, cause well, I said, I opened the episode by being like, you have no idea how excited I am for you to be here because I played it super cool. And I, the whole mm-hmm. opening was just about how I was like, I played it so fucking cool and I fucking nailed it. And then she was like, you did play it super cool. I was surprised by how cool you were playing it. And then I was like, interesting, interesting. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I almost wonder if I played it too cool because mostly because I didn't want to overplay it because of the, I didn't want, it had nothing to do with flirting. It was like a professional coolness. Of course. Yeah. You can always back down on the coolness, but you can never up the coolness. Upping the coolness. That is, this is actually, I think this is a, upping the coolness feels like uh, an insult. Yeah. If you are in the middle of something where you've played it hot and then all of a sudden you're cool, that. Totally. Totally. Right? That's why it's better to slow burn your relationship because it's. Yeah harder to pull back than it is to to lean in and yep. push it forward mm-hmm. that's well, so an message, excellent point. message and ask if she wants to get coffee or dinner or whatever and see what she says see what yeah, the this vibe is, is really exciting you got to see the vibe you got to see what okay, the vibe is it. suss it out hey girl no you could say that it's kind of funny yeah um, i'll say hey girly pop missed you <laughs> <laughs> we'll narrate it. Tell us. I just never thought about her this way. <laughs> She's so beautiful. Like I know it's not. It has nothing to do with that. I think oh it's just proximity. God. Yeah, I don't. I don't have celebrity crushes. I've never thought about right. her like this before. <laughs> you guys get. <laughs> Katie O'Brien. She took, she took off her glasses, and I was like, Whoa. Yes. <laughs> yeah. wait, she's kind of hot. <laughs> yeah. Dude, isn't it so true? Now Whenever that she's wearing that... a tank top and not a sweater, I, <laughs> yeah. I feel so mm-hmm. different. I hate when they do that trope in movies and pretend like ponytails aren't also really attractive on a lot of people. Like, like what? So cute. Ponytails are so cute. I, I don't, yeah. I like, I'm sorry, I can't wait any longer. I need to know what these what look What should like. I do? Should I just go for it or should I go for it tonight? Should you what? I need yeah, to shower. Are you busy? You need, need to shower, to shower sh- and you need well, to poop. Well, you gotta get a You need to stretch your ribs. Wait, so are you like, because you're like, we're going to go for coffee right this second? Like, bro, if it starts happening, I need to be ready. <laughs> I need to That's be true. Ready. Yeah. Well, what time is it there now? Like five? Hold on, I'm looking up European wax centers. You don't have Fuck. a lot of time. There's no European wax centers well, in does Europe. Does it have to be a wax? <laughs> there are other ways. <laughs> it has to be a wax. Razor blades do not go down there. Sorry. Wow. No. No. I honestly feel like I would love, I would prefer to have a wax over a razor, but I'm too scared to be that intimate with a stranger. I'm being honest. Wax. Fuck. Shit. (sighs) Should I take her to dinner? Dinner is... Okay, I think if you text her and you're like asking her to dinner and she says yes, that's also another sign because I feel like dinner is a little bit more suggestive than... We've already done like a podcast, so it's like... 
Yeah, but coffee is different than dinner. If you ask her to dinner and she says yes, then I would. But we could be going as friends. We could be going as friends. We could be. What is she going to say? No, she's not going to not go to dinner with me. I'm Ashley Gavin. (laughs) (laughs) Medium comedian. (laughs) Medium comedian. (laughs) Uh, Yeah, ask her to dinner. It's too late for coffee. It's too late for coffee. Is this something that I want to do? I think I want to do it. I'm just like so not horny. Like I, my, my, my bronchitis. Well then don't. Maybe she'd want to come over for a cuddle. My poops. No, we have to go to hers. We can't cuddle here. I'm in a dorm room. My underwear is hanging off the, like I I can't, I can't, we can't cuddle here. We can't cuddle here. <laughs> We've jumped so far. We can't cuddle here. My parents are in the next room. <laughs> I, I have to. If we're gonna cuddle here, I have to get like a candle, and I need to clean. And there's no okay, fan. Yeah. I need like a yeah. fan. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> oh my god. Did you text her? Well, maybe take some time okay. to think about if this I'm, is really no, what I'm you gonna, want. I'm gonna, I'm gonna text her. Hey, thank you again. Is what I have. Yep, love that. Thank you again. Great uh, episode. Here's, say, here's my number. If you want to grab coffee, or here's my number. If you want to grab dinner, something Maybe like that. Like, and then that puts do, the ball in her court, and she can. She has to be the one then to text that's you. True. And she's only going to do that if she really wants to. Also, saying if you feel like hanging out takes it to another level, because like why wouldn't she want to hang out if we were just pals? You know what I mean? So true. If, no. if you want to hang out has a subliminal, I am trying to have sex with you. Right. Yep. Yep. You should do like a. You're actually really funny. Like, comedians love that. No. See? You just laughed. No, look how hard Ashley just laughed. That's so rude. That, <laughs> that's <I> so <laughs> insulting. Yeah, that's why she laughed. Hey, Anna, don't you have, like, millions of YouTube followers? You're actually, like, really funny. Yeah, like, actually, I was surprised by how fun it was to have you on the show. You're actually, like, kind of engaging. Yeah, guys, that's the that's the bit. I did it. I sent it. Oh! Oh! Dad's growing up. <laughs> this is crazy. Dad's all grown up. Wow. Hey, this might be this might be the the boost you need in in your mid Scotland time. My my Scotland slump. Um, yeah, yeah, you're in the Scotland slump. Maybe I this actually is what you matched need. with this very beautiful woman on Hinge, but she kind of irked me. But you Why? have bronchitis and you haven't pooped and you pulled a rib. And no, I'm <laughs> pooping too much. Oh. Oh, I thought you said you. I thought you said haven't. Yeah, because I'm I'm water. I'm all diarrhea. Oh, you haven't had a good one. Oh no, Elena did not like that. Oh no. (sighs) Hey, I didn't mind. It happens, dude. We all know that home-cooked meals are so much better for you, but you don't always have the time to pull it off. But with HelloFresh handling all the meal planning, shopping, and most of the prep, it's easier than ever to get dinner on the table. I absolutely love HelloFresh. I don't have a ton of time. I'm girl bossing, okay? I'm a girl boss and a dad at the same time. That's a lot to handle. So I don't always have time to think of recipes, go shopping, yada, yada, yada. Plus I'm a bad cook. So when HelloFresh handles that all for me, I'm guaranteed to get a delicious meal and variety is the spice of life. I don't end up making the same thing every single time. No more endless recipe searching or spending money on a whole jar of spices for only a pinch. With HelloFresh, everything you need to make delicious meals comes right to your door, pre-portioned and fresh. Plus, the included step-by-step recipe cards make cooking simple. There's always new flavors to explore with an ever-changing menu of 50 recipes to choose from every week. You just pick your meals and your delivery date. It's that simple. Skip trips to the grocery store and count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. That's why it's America's number one meal kit. For free breakfast for life, go to hellofresh.com slash free chosen family. One free breakfast item per box while subscription is active. That's free breakfast for life just by going to hellofresh.com slash free chosen family. Let me, okay, I'm gonna look for a question. Guys, we had another earthquake here the other day. Oh yeah, are you? I saw that, and I was like, "Oh, is Mac gonna be okay after the earthquake?" Wait, what did you say? I have to figure out how to function when these happen. We had another earthquake, and we had another earthquake here. Mac, you might need to move somewhere really isolated and strange. 
I <laughs> sounds perfect. Because the thing is, her. you kind of might need time... to go back to like Michigan or something. Don't they have them too? They don't have earthquakes. They the don't have a is, ton of natural disasters up there. Missouri has tornadoes, but they never I don't think scared Michigan me. Because you're okay. familiar That's crazy with it. Because tornadoes are insane. It. Yeah, tornadoes. Tornadoes are insane. But it makes sense because yeah. you're yeah. familiar. I wrote I some jokes about them, tornadoes, but I was I've never been like afraid of them. But yeah. earthquakes are fucking scary. This one was like, I have to. I don't know. It's hard because it's. I can't do exposure therapy with it because i can't make an earthquake yeah so when it happens i have to like <laughs> how do you make a tornado mac um <laughs> <laughs> she grew up around t- tornadoes i'm trying to like i've written down my plans i know where me and my girlfriend should hide in the apartment if it happens again but mm-hmm, when it mm-hmm. happens i am on the verge of blacking out so i'm like <laughs> It's like, so scary. The building, yeah. The building starts swaying and I just go, okay. And then I'm about to pass out. And yeah. then I'm just sitting there and then my girlfriend's running up to me and she's like freaking out. She got scared of this one. That's how I know was it, it was. Did it bad. last long or what, what What was it like, this one? Honestly, I thought the one that we had last spring was way worse than this one because that one pulled our appliances out of like the wall. <gasps> oh my God. That one was really scary. Oh my God. This one yeah. was like more swayy but Ew, my girlfriend okay. was more afraid of this one i need I think yeah. boss. and guys we also had one uh the week before too and that one happened while i was peeing my stream stopped so fast <laughs> you wouldn't believe cut that stream, <laughs> my stream i was, was cut. cut imagine literally pissing and you start swaying Oh, it does sound really scary. Like, it sounds like just a complete lack of control. Like, the world, the universe is too big. We are too small. Like, I'm life just is trying meaningless. to figure out how if I can get my shit together. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to text you back while we're still recording. I know. I know. I'm, I'm like for that. staring at it. That's what but I she's, want. I think she might be on stage right now. We're oh, about to be right. on stage. Oh, right. That yeah, that would be the stage. only explanation for her not responding immediately. That's it. Well, That's then it. There's she'll no be other super like chill when she's done, right? I don't know. She'll be like, she'll be. She starving. also has she'll gone be like, like out I need of to her way to make this so easy for me. She was like so great with the planning. We had to reschedule because I didn't have an SD card. She's been really accommodating in the way that maybe if you wanted to fuck someone, you'd be accommodating. You know. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. This is dangerous. This is shit where you eat stuff, you know? What? What? What does that mean, dude? This is shit where you eat stuff? Don't fuck people at work. Oh, Oh, shit. Where you eat. Oh, okay. Oh, I understand. Gotcha. Well, yeah, you're kind of right. But, but, eh. Not really. You just just want it for the bit. I want to yeah. hear about You're it. Evil. Yeah. You're evil. I'm like, come back and tell us. I want to, I just like, are we answering a listener question? Yeah. Listener question. Speaking of eating, what's your go-to thing to bring to a potluck? What did we have for dinner? We had Anna Akana. Oh no. <laughs> that's if it's kind bleeped, of crazy. That's so good. I I'm want so the sorry. name bleeped for the whole thing. <laughs> your go-to thing to bring to a potluck. New Yorkers don't pot- potluck. Oh, we love a potluck up here. Love a potluck. I am we'll not... We'll pick something up. No, I generally go for, like, some kind of salad. So I used to, like, make... Ugh, I'm not I'm, I'm not a very Such good cook. Such a vegan piece of I'm shit. I'm not a very good cook. But I used to make this salad that I really liked. <laughs> and, like, I made the dressing from scratch. I would, like, fry up tofu. It was like a vegan chicken Caesar salad was the idea. Okay. I used to have this for like every day for lunch for years. This was my, you know, I go through phases of eating the same thing every day. That was one of my phases. I We all do, but the comment section will tell you that you are on the spectrum. Continue. No, like the same exact thing for like 10 years straight. Like well, every it's easier day. that way. Right, Routine. but you would, you would be on my team for this, Maggie. <laughs> I, I, I like routine of eating same thing. So would Ten Ashley, years yeah, is a while. Say, yeah, I had a tuna sandwich for lunch every day from grade one to grade 
11, except Thursdays, because that was pizza Did you day. get made fun of? I used to get made no. fun of for bringing tuna. Oh. No, I don't think so. Damn. Anyway, I used to have this salad. I, I got it over the phase. I moved on to some other phase. I stopped <laughs> making the salad. Then I was invited to a potluck, and I was like, oh, my God, I'll make my salad. It was, like, not good. Like, I don't know if I just am not... Okay, here's the truth. <laughs> okay. I'm not a, I'm not really a cook, okay? Like I can make a few things, Why but are you it's saying like that with so much shame. It's okay, Elena. You don't have to be good at everything. Oh god, yeah, I'm not good at cooking. No, you're a woman. You should be able to cook. I, <laughs> I need like a once I know how to make something, I can follow the steps and make it, but like I can't mm -hmm. just like whip something up. I just don't have the I don't have the it doesn't make sense to me. Does your fiance cook? Yes. That makes so much sense. Yes. You know what um, and, and then I do? I'll learn, like, we I'll learn how to Bell make the things. PM. I'll, okay. I'll Talk learn how to make the things that she makes. And then I can also cook them. So, like, I can contribute. But I'm not the oh, one, like, making up the recipe. Like, she'll make something yeah. up. It'll be delicious. I'll learn how to make that exact thing and follow her template. Anyway, so I was on my own for a potluck for the first time, I think was the problem. And so I was like, this is perfect. I'm going to make this salad. It was embarrassing. Like I got to the potluck and I'm in Vancouver, right? This was a, a Vancouver queer potluck. The quality of the food that these people brought was like yeah. restaurant. Like it was it was handmade vegan walnut pumpkin cream linguine. Like it was like next level dishes. And I'm here with my soggy, like I, I put the dressing in before we went. Oh, I made the dressing noob, myself. It was liquidy. Noob. It was lit yeah. it was like a, a lettuce soup, a salty lettuce soup. Like it was gross. And everybody was still eating it. And they were like, no, it's great. And I was like, I'm never bringing food to a potluck on my own again. It's nice to hear when you're bad at something, Elena. <sighs> it was like, that I still think about it weekly i would say that makes it was me like sad. so mortifying i would have eaten it thank you but it like it truly was like it it was you would scoop this like salad out there was truly a pool at the bottom of the bowl like it was it was soggy it was okay. too salty because that's you... the only seasoning i understand did you have your like name on it was it like elena's it was... vegan caesar well no it wasn't like labeled but i was so okay, mortified. So what would I bring to a potluck? I yeah, would so fry up. You know, my answer is just do? not that. The gyoza from Trader Joe's. Mm. Oh, so that's what. So now I I've switched to appetizers, so I can just go buy the appetizers and <laughs> yeah, then like smart. cook them when I get there. I do a spring roll. That's yeah, my contribution so now. You know what I'm great at? What I make the vegan the um the Trader Joe's dumplings. Mm -hmm. I make them mm -hmm. double crispy. I'm really good at frying. Yeah. I fry them on two sides, which is the yep. secret. You yep. gotta fry them on two sides. Oh my god! Before you so put good. in the water and do the steam. Yeah, this That's bananas great... looking really good. I won't lie. Well, what would you bring, Mac? I'm the boy lesbian, so the girl lesbians cook, and then I just show up and I eat it. Period. What else Point can blank. I do? I really can't do much. I've actually never been to a potluck. Besides, as oh, like a, it's a so tribe. fun. Maybe I should we put do that something on my we call list. sandwich parties, which is where everybody brings ingredients and then we all make our own make sandwiches. Can I can I flex for I a love second? That. Yeah, flex. Yeah. I'm the daddy friend now. Now that I have like an, a good income with no children, I booked a I chartered a boat for a couple hours the other for for Fourth of July. It wasn't that expensive. Oh, Fourth of July when you were in LA. Oh boy. Ooh. Yeah, I remember. Wow, you chartered a boat when you were in LA. Oh wow, That's that crazy. sounds like a really fun. You wouldn't have you guys had room for one more person on the boat. Absolutely, it was a massive <laughs> boat. <laughs> yeah, I've seen Titanic. I'm good, thanks. Um, it wasn't that expensive. It could have been something that we easily divided as friends and would have been affordable. Um, but my friends are poor. And I was just like, they're comics, you know? So mm -hmm. I was like, Daddy Ashley is taking you on a boat. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's and so I, I don't do it a lot. Mm -hmm. I don't do it a lot. You know, I'm in my little dorm for the summer. I'm, I'm pretty frugal. 
Mm-hmm. But uh, for my friends, it's Daddy nice to be able to do that. I love it. I love it. I love. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, Elena, you know this about me because when we went, when we went to the restaurant, I was like, "We're ordering one of every vegan thing," and I'm paying for it. Yep. Dude, a yep. boat's kind of sick. Yeah, a boat's a, a boat's a power a move. A boat for is sure. sick, That's and like, when cool. do you get taken to a restaurant and literally the person is like, one of everything. <laughs> I was like, no, I can't eat all that. Like, maybe I'll just have like this and this. And you were like, we'll be having one of everything. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of insane. Checks all together. Yeah, all together. I'll take it. <laughs> Dude, I'm so stupid. What is wrong with me? <laughs> no, it was perfect because then I got to take the leftovers. Like, you know what else is great about it? Jen is not like, Jen is uh, also comes from a pretty frugal family. So we don't like, we don't do a lot of expensive dinners. We don't do that stuff. Yeah. So now I feel, and that's healthy for me. Yeah. Because I'm a little simp. So right. now when I'm with my friends, which yeah. is not as often, I can ball out with my friends and feel yeah. like I did something nice for my friends and it's not like a yeah. insane thing to do. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mac, I'm really sorry I didn't. I'm... I don't I know what I was fully kidding. I was fully kidding. I think it was because I was just Actually, thinking about my I comedy I would have been friends. in a different city and it wouldn't have worked and out. And she's scared of boats. Yeah, I would have been probably well, too Well, we're afraid. thinking about going back next year if you want to come. But there will be fireworks I, probably. I will likely be in... I might go to like Joshua Tree. Yeah. Or something. Hot. That's like... Hot in July. That's fine. As long as it's not... There's no fireworks. Are you guys taking any big trips this year? Jen and I are going to Thailand at the end of the year. Well, we're trying to plan to come to see Elena in Vancouver, but we're also going come, back to Missouri a couple times. Come big in trips. two weeks because that's big, when we're, big, we're, big, we're big planning trip from LA to for Vancouver. Me. I'm breaking no, out the old passport. <laughs> two weeks. We're planning a camping trip. I don't even think you need a passport to go to Vancouver just to get to back into the United States. I'm are you sure. for real? You need yeah, a passport. For sure, get back in. I don't. No, I don't think you need. I think you only need a license to get to Canada from the U.S. But you that do need can't a be true. To get back in. That can't be true. Well, either way, either way, come visit. But she hasn't texted me back. It's almost like she's on stage. <laughs> she's definitely. She's it's definitely like she's on stage. Also, a medium comedian. She's a big YouTuber. <laughs> medium YouTuber. Mac, you wouldn't bring, question. you didn't say anything you'd bring to a potluck? You would not I, bring something? I haven't you been to a potluck in, in my adult life, so I can't say that I've really ever had to consider. I would love to be invited to one, and I'd also love to bring lots of things. But I think I would bring, I think I would do what Ashley's saying. I'd probably, like, bring a lot of appetizers, so there were, like, yeah. options. And then maybe, like, oh, I don't know, this is kind of difficult. That's hard. I would, oh, that's really difficult. I'd be like, does anybody want anything specific? And then I would try to bring that. But also the apps. Yeah. I, I, I don't know. I, just, I probably like, wouldn't bring vegan Caesar salad, though. No it offense. It was so bad. It was so bad. I'd buy alcohol that I knew nothing about. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'd bringing like, drinks is also good, like showing up with crackers, stuff you know people like. I, I would mm-hmm. do something like that. Mm-hmm. The people yeah, who are which, bringing, like, ugh. the main is, are who are They are the heroes. They're, They're the heroes. heroes. It's true. The heroes of the potluck. That kind of I confidence is crazy. Okay. Oh, okay. We can, we can wrap it up. Thanks for listening, yeah, everybody. This was a good episode. Patreon.com slash Chosen dinner? Family Podcast. We had potluck for dinner. We had potluck with everything that we brought. That's a new face. How many Listener, faces do you have? I love making faces. Like I, I feel like we're we're <laughs> Wait, two years that, into this, and again? I'm still getting new faces. Dude, Mattia makes that exact. You look just like Mattia. She makes that face all the time. <laughs> that was crazy. They call uh, it the Mattia. Faces are really her. important for comedy. <laughs> True that. What is my job? <laughs> okay get out there get out there champ get on get out there on stage get on get out there you got this (laughs) no (laughs) 
No. Maybe oh, fix no, that first. Oh, it's another one. It's another oh. one. Yep. Yep. That's so close to a real smile, but yes. also, like, not it's quite a little there. bit uncanny valley. Oh, oh no. Oh, my God. <laughs> Wait, more dead in the eyes. More dead in the eyes. And we need to see the bottom teeth a little bit, like you had before. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was... <laughs> Okay, thanks for listening, everybody. Talk to you next week. Bye. Chosen Family is a Forever Dog production, hosted by Ashley Gavin, Elena Joy, and Mac Injamin. Edited by Danny Jewell, executive produced by Mariah Nicholas. Forever Dog Productions is Joe Cilio, Alex Ramsey, and Brett Boehm. Forever Dog.